and the hands at the middle of the shins, with the eyes closed, deep breath, continuous deep breathing. And then letting each exhale be a big sigh. Two more. And the third one of those, we can bring the head down to the feet. Rock a bit left or right. Become relaxed and still forward and down. Bending lower down, you can pull your head right down, or you could relax as you are. Even deeper by doing less, more soft. Come out to the inhale, you pull the one leg and the other foot goes straight. Then you're putting your hands towards the ankle, or if you're very supple, automatically, easily, you can put the hands on the foot, relax your shoulders. Back is long, chin is tucked in. Big exhale, keep the back fairly straight up <coughs> rather than bending. Then coming up on the inhale, change the other leg towards the ankle or hands on the foot if it comes naturally. Big exhale, relax your shoulders, head down, back fairly straight, chin tucked in. Big in, big powerful breath, relax your shoulders away from the ears, back up straight, back straight, and forward stretch. And then we sit upright straight, we cross the legs to east pose with the palms open. Big in, big exhale. <sighs> Allow the shoulders to hang free and the crown to rise up. And the chin slightly tucked in. And the sides of the neck feeling loose and equally long. The breath long and slow. The in and exhale. Equal lengths. You're paying attention to the ratio of your breath the tone of your breath, what it sounds like, how it feels. With a large sigh, exhale, you relax, fill you. Stillness. On the inhale, we move forward, on your hands and knees, arms forward, with your head down, chin tucked in. Forehead on the mat. You remain in that position. You're breathing easily. You can press down a little harder. If you want to deepen the stretch more, you can put the chin on the mat and look forward along the ground. Along the mat. Chin on the mat gives us a deeper back bend. Big sigh. And the inhale, straighten the arms under the shoulders. We go to cat stretch, chin tucked in. Inhale, tuck the toes under, and you're sitting on your feet, toes tucked under. Loosen the wrists, big exhale. You're going back to you, hands and knees. Feet off the floor to rotate the feet outwards, change the rotation direction, paddle the feet several times, cat stretch again, exhale, chin to chest, wriggle the body loose and free, put your right hand a bit forward, arm 90 degrees, head to the side, palm open. Big exhale, you have a twisting upper body, a whole twisting spine. Head to the side, on its side. 
come up with an inhale and change direction for the same practice exactly. Top arm 90 degrees. Deep in the exhale. Powerful breath. Twisting, feel the twisting spine. Coming up with the inhale, arms straight under the shoulders, toes under. And we walk the feet forward. And we cross the legs, maybe cross it in another combination. Hey. Coming to Sandra. Yeah. Would you just check if she's there by our, if she's there by our office window? You let the breath come to a stillness, which means you're not doing much, and yet you're not doing nothing either. You're paying attention to the breathing, the smallness of the breath, and the largeness of the stillness. Big exhale. Taking the legs long forward, toes pointed at your side, and the hands about on the shins, just in front of the knees, about halfway, midway towards the ankles. Raise the crown, lift the back more straight, and then come a little bit more upright, so the hands moving more towards the knees. Big exhale, about halfway towards the ankles. Then rock a little bit further, like a few times, slow motion. Inhale to upright, hands at the knees, and you bend the knees. Deep in, big exhale, loosen the back. Big sigh, straighten the legs, hands all the way to the ankles, even if you have to round the back a little bit. Rock left and right. Sitting upright, bend the knees and the hands to the back, and twisting to the right. You're looking at your knee and foot. Inhale and to the other side. Exhale. Inhale up and legs long. Those who can, you can touch your toes with your fingertips. Or if you need to bend the knees to do so, do that. Big exhale, be as still and relaxed as you easily can be. So letting the energies settle. Hands to point forward behind you. Lift the shoulders, the chest up, shoulders to the back. Point the toes down, deep breath, smooth breath, deeper breath, bigger in, bigger out, relax the arms, the legs, the shoulders, but you stay in the same position. And you're coming upright, legs crossed, easy pose. Arms up next to the head, everything relaxed, arms, head, neck, and shoulders. Big sigh. Keep adjusting the angles of your neck. Until it feels that the head is sitting loosely on the top of the neck. Deepest in, biggest up breath. Stretch the arms up slightly higher. Big exhale, smooth through the neck. Then a lot higher with the hands without lifting the shoulders to the ears. On the exhale, we're twisting to the right. Inhale, you lift. Exhale, you twist. Inhale to the front. Exhale to shoulder height arms. Big sigh. Back of the neck longer. You could rock left, right, left, right. Stillness. Uncross the legs. Cross them again. Stay there with the arms. More comfort. Big sigh. Hands together. Fingertips touching. Then finger mudra. Large exhale. As to prayer in front of the chest. Large inhale with a big OM sound. Oh. Big sigh resting with the palms open.
adjust your body awareness, so you upright, relaxed, easy going, but with a focus, focus of easy going, easy goingness also a focus. Deep smooth breath, long smooth exhale when you get there. Both legs on to the front, both hands on the knees. Point the toes to soft and see by pointing the toe more and then reaching with the arm and the shoulder, everything that you can be fairly upright and touch your hand to the opposite foot, big toe. Still bend the knees if you need to. But you upright as can be. Shoulders are relaxed. Moving a bit left, moving a bit right. Both hands on the knees. Up, big down. Crown up, shoulders down. Take it easy with the breath. Definitely rocking to the side of the knees into the ground on the sides. Elbows in the thighs, forearms in the thighs. And we're breathing a bit faster when we move a bit looser and faster. <coughs> Hands to the knees and the body in the center line. Feeling the center, straight line from the crown, along the spine, to the sitter. The nose between the knees, in terms of that line. With the head hang straight forward and down. The chin will begin to touch the breastbone. Push a bit of effort into pushing the head down. Press the head straight up to look forward. Wriggle the head, neck, and shoulders. Cross the legs, make a fist down to the sides with the crown up. Tailbone hangs down. Crown up and rock the body a few times and bend the elbows and do like a little push up position. Big in, big out. Then high as you can with the crown up. Deep in, big out. Arms up next to the head. Stretching fingers, powerful breath. Thumb to index finger. And we breathe. Thumb to next finger and we breathe. Thumb to ring finger. Small finger. Hands down and across the legs, left. Cross the other way around. Big in, big exhale. Slow push up. Stay up. Come down, exhale. Arms up. Shake the hands free. Start at the little finger, other finger straight deep in. Next finger. Little. Index finger and rest with the hands hanging down. Big side. Rock the body loose, looser, soft in the pushes. Deep in the big side. Legs on to the front, hands on the knees. Fingertips and big toes. See if you're warming up to the stretches and loosening. Big exhale. Also making more focus possible. Focus is stillness. The focus is on stretch. 
focus is also on well-being. Well-being includes health, includes, uh, includes our mental focus, our positivity. Coming up to the inhale, forward to hands and knees, two dog stretch, if possible turn on the mat this time, Looking, bring the thumbs forward, big in, big exhale, feel that you're using the body as a as the practice ground, it's also your machine, your gym machine, it's also the place that we make a pleasant place to be in. Pushing the chest more to the floor, bigger out breath, straight to arms if it doesn't hurt your shoulders, bend the arms if it hurts your shoulders. Then remain in the position more easily, so soft the shoulders, soft the elbows, quietness of breath. And coming up on the inhale to high knees, arms to shoulder height on the knees, large easy movements, so not super big but big and definitely not fast, not lethargically slow but pretty slow. Pretty exhale as we stay in the posture, we're investigating our shoulder joint movement, changing the direction a little faster and a little smaller. And also adjust the neck so it's longer, crown up more, chin tucked in more. Big in, big out breath. Let the arms hang free. And then as if you're swinging a rope with the weight at the bottom to one side. The hand being the weight, of course. Big exhale, change to the other side. Then the hands forward and back. And sideways. And twisting, turning. And then see how much can you turn the hands the unusual way around. And the other way around is easier. Both hands pointing forward with the crown up and the knees touching together. Crown up, chin tucked in, deepest breath, biggest heart. And fingers interlaced at the back. And gently pressing the knees together. It's a bit of an effort to do that. Shoulders back, pushing the shoulder blades towards each other. And the head is hanging down, and pulling the shoulders back, the body is narrow, the knees are narrow. And you suck the belly towards the spine with the chin onto the breastbone. On the inhale, you release everything. Make the knees wide, big exhale. You feel it's expanding. Hands coming up to about just higher than the head. And your big toes can touch, it makes it balance easier, if you want to. And then the hands to prayer about the head. Big exhale, rock your body a little bit, one shoulder up, other one. And then the arms straight, deep in breath. Bigger breath, bigger exhale, crown up more, chin tucked in a little bit. Big smooth in and out breath. And the next breath, the hands go slightly wider than the body. Looking up at the big space between the hands, and the fingers are spread. Deep breath, big in, big exhale. You don't drop the head to the back, you lift the face up to the sky, you stretch into the hands. So you have a giant arch. Deep breath, the hips going forward, and there's no hardness, 
in the angles of the neck, lower back, middle back, spine is light, lifted, free. Big exhale, you bring the hands to horizontal, tuck your toes under, let the head tilt forward slightly, and you're sitting down on the heels with the toes under. Deep, smooth breath. Rough left and right once or twice with the hips. Large exhale. And forward to your hands down. Two, shake off the right leg. Big exhale. Shake off the other leg. Big exhale. Make the whole body go S shape. Big sigh. Sideways with the whole body. You're looking at your knees. Knees wide as your mat. Big toes touching. Forearms down. Slide the forearms forward. Palms down. Four frog stretch with the face to the mat. Heels will be under your sit bones and thighs. You can bend the arms for comfort. Shoulders in general. Exhale, relax the body to between the thighs. The more you become relaxed, the more you can remove the hidden tensions from the body frame. Then use the breath with the big in and the big side. <sighs> so the breath helps to release the tensions that get stuck in our uh, body, muscles, fascia, as well as ligaments, tendons. It gets stiff with emotions, lifestyle, how we sit, how we exercise, do things. Coming to hands and knees. Knees together, hands under the shoulders. Bring the chin a little bit tucked in and you're going to look at your knees and lift them a few centimeters off the floor. So you're on the tops of your feet and on the arms and the elbows are slightly, the chin is tucked in. You're going to lie on the tailbone, belly towards the spine, slightly rounded back as in the cat stretch. Knees off the floor, hands, fingers spread, elbows a bit bent on top of the legs. Uh, top of the feet, sorry, knees bent off the ground. So down, toes tucked under, arms up next to the head. Big in, big exhale, relax the wrists, big sigh. Hands down, jump the feet through, hands to the back, legs long to the front, wipe the feet. Deep breath, big in, big up. Big sigh. One more. And one side stretch. Relax, head free, shoulder back. Head hangs loose. Over to the other side. Head hangs free, loose. Big exhale. Shoulder back. Inhale up. Put the other foot in the front. One side stretch. Head to the side, shoulder back. Big exhale, core strength. Change to the other side. Relax. And coming up with both hands, legs crossed, easy pose, both hands on the belly, with the eyes closed. Experience the, the wisdom of core strength. Once our core strength starts to develop properly, core muscles, abdominal muscles, belly button and lower. Then we can use that muscle and when we know how to use it, it becomes our strength. And we start using it because we're using it. And then you'll find your core strength grows. And you'll start finding a massive strength there. Take a large breath. Feel the abdominal muscle moving towards the back of the body, lower back, lower back. It's a second chakra practice. 
also works together with the first chakra. And the whole spine upwards from the three, four, five chakras. Midriff, heart, and the back of the neck as well. Starts to become more relaxed. Simultaneously tightening the core muscles, second chakra area, root chakra. Pull up the root block a little if you can. Relax the shoulders, back of the neck long. As the upper body and back becomes more relaxed, the core strength increases. Core strength is stronger. The foundation is there and the upper body can relax. Core strength much tighter and the upper body can completely relax. There's no tension in the neck. You can then also relax the core muscles and the upper body will remain relaxed because you're in balance. You're not doing something off balance. Easy breath in, big heart. Big sigh. Uncross the legs, open the eyes. Relax with the palms open. So when we sit in that image, picture, vision that we create for how we want to be, with our foundations strong, and whether we hold our core strength, or whether we're just energetically in our strong core, we can feel that the foundation of our body life is secure, building our house on a rock and not on the sand. Big in, big out breath, relax your shoulders, feel that each breath has an action in the abdomen. That action itself fills the strength of our whole body from fills the strength of our whole body from the digestive fire to the energy that sustains the function of lungs, pumping the breath up and down the spine, moving back energetically the spine. Air moving up and down the wind path. And with the relaxed shoulders, fingers pointing to the sides, we have our feet about wide as the hips and mat, lifting up towards or right into coffee table, shoulders back. You can begin looking at your knees and looking at a straight line from your knee to hip to shoulders. And then Drawing on that straight line, face parallel to the roof, hands under the shoulders. We can be very still in the practice. Deep breath, the only thing really happening is the breath and the gentle heartbeat, not straining. Our heartbeat is gentle, effortless effort. Big in, big side, and the heart relaxes even more. practice is easy because our body is loose where it must be and strong where it is for this practice thighs lower back relaxed strong buttocks big sigh coming down to the up breath taking hold of our feet and go to both hands straight up with those who can with those who can straight legs Shoulders down, but bend the knees if you have to. So practice has the same value whether your legs are straight or bent. Same value if you pull up the midriff using the hands. Hands. So the back is straight. Big exhale. We make it harder by not pulling up the legs with the feet, but by naturally lifting the legs and Breathing at the same height, and you can test your practice. You're still at the same height with the feet. If your core muscles are strong enough, you can also lower the feet and sit upright with lifted chest. But you want to keep the back straight, especially not making a hump at the upper back between the shoulder blades. Place the feet across, so you're taking a hold of the feet there. And pull the legs as if in a knot. And like that. Well done. Just 
sitting up tall and the shoulders are down and the neck is long. You can even work the feet and the hips with a few turns with your hands and massage-like practice using the thumbs and your the thighs, thigh bone, on the sit bone region, buttocks, lower back, you can feel that area. You can put your hands on the lower back with your fingers to under your seat, crown up, chin tuck there, and then feel to the sides, and then the thighs, hands around the knees, fingers interlaced. So good to have a clear sense of place in the body, back of the neck long. Big exhale. Stillness. No feature to the movement, hardly a sound, hardly an activity. Across the legs, all slow motion. And take hold of the feet and then pull the legs up straight. Or if you wanted to go like that, a little bit more challenging. You can adjust yourself, catch the feet, do the best you can, try some variations. Cross the legs out, catch hold of the feet a little bit harder, perhaps. So if it's harder on this side, it's indicating uh, stiffness in the hip, weakness in the back, and your ankles a little bit, crying up, work with the thumbs, big exhale, and feel the hips sit down. Lower back and adjust yourself so that we can work with the discrepancies. Fingers interlaced around and eradicate some of our weaknesses. Back of the neck, long chin tucked in, deep breath, smooth. Big exhale. Legs long to the front. Work the feet a few times in a slow stretch. Feet wide as the mat. Twisting to the right. Just don't put the heel on the knee. And work the knee down. And work the shoulders to a twist. Over to the other side. Knee down. Kneel down on the knee. Work the shoulders first. Coming up to via a squat. Feet fairly wide. Like this. Deep in big art. Lift the hips to about the knee height. Imagine yourself getting snow skiing. Deep in big exhale. Wriggle the hips. Hands on the knees. Big sigh, wriggle the hips a few times, fold, double fold, exhale, head swings forward and back, hands on the knees again, this time you look up, deep in, big exhale, and roll the rest away up and inhale, with your palms open next to the side and the big toes lining up and feet together, deep breath, big in, big out, bringing the hands to you. Prayer above your head, and you're standing on the right foot, other foot on the big toe, and the heel. And we're doing our practices easy, going as possible. Deep in breath, big exhale. So you go hollow back, elbows bending out to the sides, arms straightening a little bit, fingertips on the midline, meeting above your crown, big toe supporting the ankle. 
put your own deep smooth breath smoothness of the breath letting the position and the action be smooth placing both feet the same change big toe ankle big toe of both feet guiding the practice up to the direction of where your fingertips are above the crown back of the neck long core muscles engaging core muscles aware of the big toe the foot that it's on and then bringing the feet the same way facing same way we start hands to prayer from the chest hands to prayer reverse prayer position so knuckles together between the shoulder blades head down chin back in Keep the hands the same place, lift the face up to the sky, face maybe even parallel to the roof, with no straining at the vertebra, no extra compression at the vertebra of the neck that will damage the bones, cushions between the vertebra. Big in, big exhale. Lift the crown up, chin tucked in, and wriggle the head, check that the neck is free. Hands up next to you, the head, palms parallel. Big exhale, shoulder width and fingers interlaced. Hands like that. One elbow back in the lifted elbow, forearm. Lifting the head and pushing back into the hand, the arm, <coughs> and the head. Deep in breath, pulling the hands apart with the fingers interlaced. Big strong exhale through the nose. More fiery breath, heating. Change to the other side. Big sigh, relax. Same position, stretch, form the position, form the shapes. Breathe smoother. Big sigh and then two breaths, three breaths, fierce breath. Elbow up, head into the elbow, up. Forearm and wrists, powerful, pull the hands apart. Breathe in, big exhale, palms open, a little bit wider than the shoulders. Feel the heat under your feet on the mat that you stand on, that's your body heat warming the floor under you. The body coming from your breath. Big exhale, when you bring the arms down. Shaking the arms free, and you place the feet a little wide, you'll feel that the, the coolness of the mat, no longer in the heat where you were heating up the mat. You're going to bounce a few times like this. Big exhale. Big sigh. Back of the neck line. And a few more. And coming down to kneeling knees, high knees. Stillness. Leg long to the front. Fingertips towards the level of the, um, just ahead of the your side of the heel. And you bend the leg a little bit. Front one, back one stretches extra. Then you lift the front foot toes off the floor. Straighten the leg and you bend the head down towards the knee. Should be on the fingertips and thumbs. Rock a little bit the front leg gently. Back of the neck is long, rounded lower back. And you bend the front knee and you're stretching forward and you're looking up and forward at the back hip sinking. Big exhale a few times. Draw the front leg back. Change to the other leg. Back hip stretches, back thigh. Big exhale. Start to straighten the front leg, head towards the knee. Round back, chin tuck in. Move freely, still in the practice. Bend the front knee. Big exhale, chest open. Back hip stretches. Unlock our stiffness so that it becomes potential looseness. Bring the foot back. 
And lift the head up, inhale, hollow back, chin up. Exhale to cat stretch. In breath, lift the head. Exhale to cat stretch. Powerful exhales into the cat stretch, chin to chest. Exhale, belly into the spine. Exhale, round back to the ceiling. Inhale, belly to floor. Exhale, round back to ceiling. Keep going. Exhales. Two more. Last one. Tuck toes under to down dog. Hips up. Inhale. Exhale. Heels to the mat. Heels down. Swing the head free. Inhale, bring the feet to the thumbs. Exhale, walk the hands to the back. Inhale to come table. Deep in breath, lift the hips up. Take your time, align, lift the hips to the height of the knees, shoulders back. You can check everything by looking. While you look, you also loosen. Then the face parallel to the roof. Deep in, biggest exhale. Hold the practice still. You're not suppressing the breath, you're not holding the breath. You could breathe a big sigh. You may want to. Sitting down, keep the hands at the back. Fold your foot in so the right foot can go up. Catch a hold of the foot. And then one leg to the side and up. Head back, chest open. Notice the passage is clearing from the nose to the sinus, to the windpipe, to the lungs. Hips loosening, lower back loosening, your foundation becoming more supple and strong. Bring the leg down, change to the other side. Deepest breath, biggest in, biggest out. Chest open. Deep breath in, big out breath. Big in, big out breath. Feel the hips loosen, more supple. Lifted leg, hamstring more supple, shoulders relaxed. Shoulders looser, neck looser, foundation stronger. And you bring the foot down, sitting with easy pose properly. So it's a, it's a common thing, and this is why um, investigation, I mean, is a common thing in, in, in knowledge in general. So I just grew up, my mom always said, if you want to know something, I said, like, what's, what does this word mean? You just go look it up. And then when you look it up, you, you know, like you read it and you know, it and so It's also common in, um, in literature. You often find a, a book and in the beginning it says a word and it defines it and it says, or it may mean, and they give you like a whole list of different dictionaries. And you go, like, wow, how can five dictionaries interpret the same word in five different ways and so on? But then it gives you the meaning of the word. Otherwise, you go like, what does this mean? You go, blue. oh, it's a color. Okay, they are cool. And then you're like, actually, haven't a clue what blue is. And you should know there are shades and depths and, ah, and how does it happen because of the atmosphere and so on. It's the sky. So when we look at these kind of ways of working with the body, you can see there's like so much subtlety in, in that movement because there's a, there's a muscle here and there's also a, a joint that allows your arm to turn or not. And if there's something that's not connected or working or injured, then you get stuck and so on. Either way, when you sit with the palms open and the eyes closed, when we look intellectually at a word, we can get different meanings, but then we can also look at the colors or feel the muscles, sort of the tones or shades of something, as you might call it, really textures, depth of perception. And interestingly enough, when we meditate on something, we tune into the frequency of the something, and when we start to feel our body, not from the intellectual perspective only, but also, but not only, then we can start feeling the breath. And then when we think about the breath, we think of how emotions could generate hardness, or softness, weakness, strength. And then everything becomes so interconnected and internal that we understand we actually have to look at the body intellectually as well as feel it when we breathe. 
and then do all kinds of things to it, for it, with it, so that it can change. Vigorous things, soft things, gentle things, strong things. Big exhale. And sink into the foundation of the lower back. And when our body house foundation is built on rock, then the upper body can relax. Instead of the upper body becoming a rock and the lower body the sand. So we want to go away from the intellectual strength to the lower back chakra, second chakra, first chakra strength. Big exhale. And the heart softens and the shoulder softens. Or oh, when the heart softens, the lower back strengthens in its soft strength. Slide the front foot a little forward and stretch down with the hands head towards the floor. Adjust the practice. Become more slow. Adjust the practice. Become more slow. You need the left, you need the right. Stay on one side and go to both sides. You sense what's going on. Intellectually, we know we want to be equally soft on the left and the right, and equally strong on the soft side, as well as having a strong soft on the right. That kind of balance. We want to understand it. We know intellectually what balance means. Come up and inhale, put the other foot at the front, cross the legs, and then rock like this. Big in, big back of the neck long, and then like that, and then like this, and then up. Big exhale, arms up, and it could be a fairly small movement, but a definite. Movement up and down the sides of the body and the hips and the lower back. Big exhale. Keep the arms up, put the one foot forward, sliding it, and then stretching down forward. Big sigh. So we use vigor, rigorous practice, we use discipline, we use relaxedness. We call it a relaxed discipline, which I call also. Take it easy, but take it. Means there's parts that are slack and there's a relaxed focus. It includes times or periods or moments of complete softness and surrender. Going up as an inhale. So when you listen to the vertebra in your neck, so when there's like a crunching, when you move your neck or something and it goes like, you can hear your bones, then it means something is grating. And grated cheese is nice, but <laughs> you don't want to grate your bones because it kind of, like, right, can you imagine the grating? It's not great. Well, what sometimes happens when you make a sudden movement, then it, you click, so it's like a chiropractic like click. So when the back is out, we can live with the spine out and we won't die from it. When it clicks in, oh, it feels great, it's free. That's that alignment that I talk about often as well. It's just everything's aligned. Within the alignment, you'll sometimes find like, where's all this creaking coming from? It's still because there's like a little dis ease or something. And then sometimes when your body aligns perfectly, you can do all of that and you oh, can do a single thing. A well oil joint. Okay. So with your eyes closed, visualize that you have that complete stillness. And see just how much of stillness actually comes from stillness. So when we upright still as in stillness, and the crown is up, and we move ourselves into the optimum joint position. Optimum alignment with the shoulders relaxed and the neck long and the core muscles are engaged just enough and that allows for the movement 
the techno song. That's maybe why the song of the one hand clapping is called that. Absolute effort is effort. And it defies any logic. The one hand can't really clap, can it? Big in, big out breath. And then relax into that moment even deeper. It becomes a very really deep first hand experience of an investigation and direct perception of what does it mean to be still. Could I move now, perhaps in a way that doesn't kick or creak, or grind, or great. Moving forward from there to black pose on the fists, going slow into the practice, no speed. Control strength, deep in big exhale. Bend the arms a little bit. Move with powerful breath, long and slow out through the nostrils. Feel the left arm and the right arm, left back, right back, left buttock, right buttock. Then feel the fists and the toes and feel the whole left side and the whole right side with the center line spine, supported by the muscles that connects to the arms to the spine, thighs to the spine, connected to the breath in the middle of your head, the forehead, sinus, nostril breath, windpipe, along the line of the spine, core muscles, feel the core muscles, put the knees down, big exhale, and then coming out to sitting on the heels or kneeling position, if you can't do this, high knees are fine, big exhale, feel the tremendous power in some of the parts, and the supple some of the parts, and your relaxed some of the parts both in terms of the collection of body parts, as well as the state of being, the ability to be warm, relaxed, disciplined, focused, easy, basically, easy going, or nice, or pleasant, but not laying weak or nowhere, or disembodied, big exhale. Stay like that. One last posture, forearms down, right leg up to the roof, shake the legs out and then point the foot and then put a lot of weight in the forearms and do the practice effortlessly but with effort. Point the toe up, equal spread of weight in the hands, forearms, wrists, elbows, transferring to the back, to the open lifted hip and the knee on the ground takes it so easy. For a great result when you breathe, big in, big out. On the exhale, sigh with the knee down. Big sigh again, resting the knees. Inhale, lift the other foot. Shake the leg a little bit. Point the toes, work hard but so easily. Weight in the forearms, fingers. Even the fingers carrying a little bit of weight. And the knee on the ground carries some of the weight. Elbow do so three parts, one part way up, foot, highest foot, big side, bringing the knee down, big side, looking at your knees, inhale, straighten the arms, exhale, tuck the toes under, inhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog, heels right down, inhale, walk the feet carefully to between the thumbs, exhale, coming down to a uh, squat and by the squat, legs down, long palms open. Big sigh, relaxing into Savasana. Ah, palms open. Flop the legs a few times. Wiper feet. Let the head go. Wiper left, right, left, right. Wriggle the whole body gently against the ground. Ah, big sigh and become still, free of action still. So uh, there's no external action, no projecting outwards, it's inwards relaxing. It means all the forces of your life and all the forces of the earth working on your body, 
and all the forces of the universe working in on the earth, working in into your body. So think of the collective life force of all that is. You can see it so easily in nature. When the wind blows, big in, big out breath. Big sigh. When we rest at night and we surrender to gravity, it's a big force of nature. When the body heals from an illness, it's a force of nature. When you take a step, it's nature. One breath is nature. Meditation and spiritual connection is also natural, spiritual. Spirit is nature. Big exhale, relax the body, soft shoulders. Now you can feel the whole body aligned, left and right. You can fancifully imagine that your body fascia, tendons, ligaments, it's all aligned with nature and spirit. Scientifically, this is true. All the energy that is the body it comes from the ground, the earth, the sky, the grass, whatever sustains. Bring the feet to the floor, knees bent. Lie on your back, knees bent. Then slowly hug the thighs with the arms under the calves. Gently roll the body against the floor. <laughs> Lullaby, soft, gentle relaxness. Roll up on the inhale. Sitting in the way that you like. Do the third <laughs> cross decks for the third and final arm at the end of our session. Bring your hands to prayer again. And let's bring our hands to prayer in the heart space. And just feel the heart. Feel the lower back, the lower half of your body. Relaxed. Feel the heart space. Then bring the hands to prayer with the forehead, the robots. We can think of seeing clearly the heart, the mind. The heart with the mind, the heart sees the mind, and they're both built on the supple, strength, relaxed lower back, and the core muscles get a lot in there. Side, relax with the palms open. And thank you. Thank you. <laughs>